Welcome to day eight of 12 days of transit in New York City. I say this in every video, I can't believe we've made it to day eight. And you know what? We have four more days to, to go. If you've missed any of the videos before today, I have a link to the playlist in the description below and make sure you're subscribed so you won't miss the last four days. And we have exciting things coming up, the last four days of this series. So today for day eight, we are going to ride the New York City Ferry. I'm in the financial district right now, walking to the ferry. I'm on Wall Street, actually. So the New York City Ferry is a commuter ferry. It's not primarily for tourists, but every time somebody visits me, I make sure that they ride the ferry because it is a very cheap way to see the waterfront to ride the East River, especially on a bright sunny day. The ferry is $4. It used to be $2 and you can ride it for 90 minutes. But ever since they raised the price to $4, you can ride it for 120 minutes. But I doubt that makes any difference for people who ride it on regular However, there is this deal where you can get a 10 ride pass for $27.50. I don't know if you can only use that pass one at a time so you can't really buy it for your group. I'm not sure. If you know, comment down below. My recommended route for this is from Wall Street to Astoria end to end. I like this route because the Astoria Ferry ends in Astoria so you don't have to worry about getting lost or missing seeing the stop that you're supposed to get off of. So I'm super early. As you can see, there's nobody lined up for the Astoria Ferry. <laughs> I should have checked the schedule before coming here. So that's a tip for you. The ferry comes every half hour. At least right now it's every half hour. I think it's more frequent during rush hour. The tip is make sure you check the schedule before you decide on riding the ferry. There's also a free IKEA ferry. There's a IKEA, there's a huge IKEA in Red Hook in Brooklyn. And you can take a ferry there go shopping and take a ferry back and it's free and if you don't have access to the docks there are shuttle buses along Midtown Manhattan that will take people to the ferry they have facilities there's bathrooms in there you don't even need a ticket when you go in to use the bathroom so if, even if you're not riding the ferry and you're in the area and you need to use a bathroom there's free public toilets in there there's also concession stands where you can buy food and on a cold day you're welcome to wait in that center for your your ferry because it gets pretty cold over here because we're on the water and on certain days <laughs> you don't want to be out here for too long I actually did used to work in this area I would take the ferry to and from work every day and it was the chillest commute I've ever had during those morning commutes I remember there was this person that was always on my ferry that I took and he would have a bowl of cereal or parfait or something with yogurt or milk and he'd be eating it as he boarded the ferry and by the time we got to Wall Street he'd be done with his breakfast just toss the dish or the paper bowl and off to work what's great about up here 11 is once you get here via ferry you can take a city bike to other parts of Manhattan and there's actually a bike route that goes all the way up the East River along the waterfront which is a nice bike ride on a nice day like today so I have a ticket that I bought via the app I'm just waiting for the ferry right now but you can buy a paper ticket from one of the kiosks here if you're ever curious on how to ride the ferry if you don't never ridden the ferry I've made an entire video on that how to ride it how to board everything around it link to that is in the description below the pricing is a bit dated on that video but a lot of things remain relevant sorry I'm activating my ticket right now uh, okay let's walk two of us thank you Change of plans, we are taking Hunter's Point South because the story of ferry is just taking too long. There's a snack bar. Usually at the end of the day when I was taking the 
a ferry to and from work, there would be happy hour. There's a happy hour at the snack bar and a lot of people would just get their drink because they have a long ways to go. Some of them are going all the way up to the Bronx. So they have an hour or so of ferry riding and so they would get a drink at the end of the day. And one important thing, there are bathrooms. There are two levels to the ferry and we're inside the cabin which is nice on a cold day but it's a nice day today so we're gonna go up to the open air area upstairs. after this one. If you don't want to miss the future videos, make sure you're subscribed and you hit that notification bell. Also, it's the holiday season and if you're looking for some last minute stocking stuffers, look no more beyond the Urban Caffeine Shop. I've got promo going on during this holiday season, so check that out at shop.urbancaffeine.com. Patreons and YouTube members get 15% off. Check out patreon.com slash urbancaffeine or the join button of this channel. With that, thank you all so much for watching and until the next video, happy New Yorking!